Thanks for watching Here to Stay TV. I'm Glenn Hausman reporting from the Service Department Summit Americas, and I have with me Ms. Deanna Tang of Skift, where she's the hospitality editor. Deanna, I'm excited. This has been a great event so far. How are you seeing things today? Um, yeah, I, I, so this is my second time attending uh, the Service Department Summit here in the Americas, um, and I really enjoy this conference because it's in a lot more it's a lot more of an intimate setting than a lot of the the other hospitality investment conferences that I go to, um, and it was great to really see so many different perspectives in a part of the lodging industry that often kind of gets overlooked or neglected. Um, so I really enjoyed that part. Yeah, I, I like how um, different and innovative it is. They're doing things that are new and different that you don't see at every conference, which can, as you say, get boring. What do you think about the change in the entire sector since this event was held last April? Gosh, um, I guess on an industry-wide basis, yeah. just from, from my observations. Yeah, you know, the whole service department industry, how has it changed in your perception in the last 12 months? I think it's definitely, um, I think it's sort of a continuation of this sort of, um, idea that this industry is really confronting maybe identity crisis is a little bit of a strong word but I think it's sort of really trying to understand what type of a message or education um, me educational message it wants to send to consumers and really defining what it is that this part of the industry does what what does it mean to have a service department or an extended stay hotel versus just a regular hotel or a timeshare or a vacation home or an Airbnb or you know all these different things um, so I definitely see that sort of continuation and I think this year as opposed to last year I've seen I've seen the sort of like the collective industry voice get much stronger right. um, and I, I think that there's definitely sort of a movement underfoot for this sector of hospitality to really make a name for itself to be better known to have more of a deeper connection and engagement with um, not just with people in this industry or in the investment industry but also with consumers more directly Terrific. I think uh, real smart observations. I, I think you, you said it perfectly. It's the, the industry knows what it is, but hasn't figured out the language in order to communicate that effectively to its potential customer base. And I'm seeing um, technology with sites such as BridgeStreet.com finally starting to pull it together so customers are going to have a one-stop shop. And I think that is going to make the difference to get people to really get on board from the consumer side. I definitely agree with you. Um, it's moves being made by, by players like BridgeStreet. It's also... Um, um, looking at ways in which um, players in this space already can kind of take advantage of more established brands too, um, like leverage the marketing power behind a brand like Airbnb, for instance, or Booking.com, which is also out here in force, um, to really kind of get their brands or their product out in front of consumers and really kind of make themselves more well known. Great, so be sure to check out uh, Deanna's great content over at skiff.com. And don't forget to watch our content, uh, content all the time at Here to Stay TV. I'm Glenn Hausman. Thanks for watching. <laughs>